Hello guys, this is Sora from Computer Geeks and welcome to the fourth tutorial of C programming language. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys that how to determine if a year is leap year or not. Actually, a perfect leap year or not. So, you know what is a leap year? Any year which can be divisible or which is divisible by 4 is known as leap year. And if it's a century, as opposed to 2000, 1900 or 1700, something like that, then it has to be divisible by 402. Then it, it can be called as the leap year. So let's see what it takes to just write the code. First of all, declare the variables we need. Uh, suppose your and then uh, I don't think anything else is going to be necessary. Then in a Sweden message like enter the year. Now input it by scanf, you know the stuff already. Percentage D stands for decimal digit, then M percent year. That's it. Now you have to first see if it is or uh, it can be di divided or divisible by four or not. So the decision making statement if I'm going to use if here just now I'm introducing mod here. You can see this sign here is called as mod or you can say module the division what it does it just divides any number here it divides year by four and just determines the value of the remainder so I'm already checking if the rem remainder after dividing year by four is zero or not if it is zero then it can be a repair but not necessarily because the century stuff, uh, suppose for 1700, it can be divisible by, or actually it is divisible by 4, but not by 400. So we, we further, we have to check furthermore. So if it is divisible by 4, then let's check if it, it is divisible by 100 or not. Uh, if this thing is divisible by 100, we have to check another thing. So, let's do this. If year is 400. If this thing is right, now just print this. Or so this D is with year. And uh, this here, I, oh, I just missed this thing here. That's it. Now, the, uh, if it is not divisible by actually, what do you say, 400, then what? Let me just add this thing. As I'm using multiple lines under this if, I have to use one brace. Okay. If it is, it is divisible by 400, then it has to be a leap year. And if it is not, then it is uh, simply a not. It's not a leap year. Then greenish percentage D is not a leap year. I missed B. All right. Let's see here. All right. Now this is done. Now in this case, uh, you saw that if year is divisible by hundred, that means if it's a century, we have to check further that it can be divisible by four hundred or not. Now, if this condition fails. Or false to satisfy, uh, satisfy, then we have to just print this.
Why? Because uh, it is here you can see it, it is DB, it can be divided by 4 actually it is divisible by 4 we were checking if uh, it was a century or not if it is not a century then we don't have to worry about these blocks no not at all so that's why I have uh, printed this thing here now when it's done that's good now this if else part is here this if else part is here now what about this if if your is divisible by 4 then okay we have checked all these stops now if the year which we have inputted or given then it is not divisible by 4 then it has to be not a linear so we have to give it else part and we should just remove that percentage d is sorry is not a linear so that's very easy what this okay yeah. now I think I'm done just put a get CA for the terminal to wait for my key and just now click on this thing click build and run it will compile your program and run for you Okay, enter the year it's asking. First of all, it's 2016, so 2016 is a leap year. Yes, it is. Now, let's take another run. Enter the year it is asking. Okay, a non leap year. 2017 is not a leap year. Yes, 2017 is not a leap year. Now, let's check it for. A century, suppose 2000. 2000 is leap year. Okay, now finally check it for an exception like uh, 1700, which was which can be divided by 4, but actually it was not a leap year. 1700. 1700 is not a leap year, so it is working properly, I think. And uh, just try it, just try it this decision making statement which is if and else and just take care of the fact of this braces out here where you have to put brace or where you don't have to you can see I haven't put any brace here because I have used only one line of statement so there is no necessity of that but I have to use brace here because you know I have used multiple lines in between these braces or you can say in this block so that was it. Just try this decision making statement if under if under if under if you could say it's a nested if actually. So hope it was helpful for you. Hit like if it was helpful for you. Share this video with your friend and family and comment down below if you are facing any problem or you have anything to say about it. Just like us on Facebook and uh, thanks for watching. And subscribe to our channel too.